Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install Comfy UI as well as the Comfy UI manager. And then for Mac users, Linux users, or anyone who is having difficulty installing Comfy UI, I will show you a tool you can use to automate the process of installing Comfy UI. So with one click, you will be able to install Comfy UI, all of its dependencies, everything will be installed for you. So open your favorite web browser and type in Comfy UI GitHub like this. And most of the time, the top link that will show up will be by Comfy Anonymous. And you will, it will tell you that we have Comfy UI. Click on the link. This will take you to the GitHub repository. If you scroll down, you will see that there is an installing Comfy UI here. Click on it. It will take you down to the installation guide. For Windows, users you have a direct link to download and for other operating system you will need to scroll down a little bit until you can see others then just look for your version and follow the instruction now like i mentioned if you're having difficulty following these instructions i will show you a simpler method that you can try as always there will be timestamps in the description below so you scroll back to where you have the direct link to download and click on it in some browsers the download will start automatically in my case it's asking me to save the file and you can click on save or save as just save it in the default location most of the time it will be in the downloads folder just wait for it to complete once it's completed open your file explorer and go into your downloads folder you can access the downloads folder by going into your start menu here and then just type in download you'll get file explorer you can click directly into file explorer and then select downloads or you can go into downloads here it will send you directly into the downloads folder you should see the comfy ui windows portable zip file select the file click on it once and at the top here you will get an option to extract all click on extract all you will get another window asking you where you want the files to be extracted in my case i'm going to leave it default just in the downloads folder and then i'm going to click on extract this process will take some time once the extraction process has completed you will get a folder on the ui windows portable go into that folder and you may see another folder in it just go into that folder until you can see these files and two of them will have .bat in at the end in order to run comfy ui you will use the run nvidia underscore gpu.bat file if you have a gpu or if you do not have a gpu and you want to run it on cpu then you would use the run underscore cpu.bat file so you can double click on one of these two files to open and test if Comfy UI is able to run. This will open a terminal and you will see an output like this. Wait for it to complete and Comfy UI web browser interface will start automatically. If you see this web interface opens, then it means that you are able to run Comfy UI. And the first thing that you will see is that we have a load checkpoint here and it's asking for a checkpoint name. At this stage, we do not have any checkpoints. So if you click on this refresh button here, it will tell you that the checkpoint name is undefined. Basically, we do not have any checkpoints. Open your browser once again and go to civicai.com. And in here, you can download different models for Comfy UI. Click on models at the top. And if you scroll all the way to the top, there will be a button filters. And if you click on it, you will see different type of filters. To get started, you want to look for models types, checkpoint. Then you scroll down until you see the file format and then click on save tensor. Under base model, there are different types of model. The SD 1.5 LCM will be the fastest. SD 1.5 is where most people fine tune the models. So you will get a lot of variation if you choose SD 1.5. There's also SDXL Turbo as well as SDXL Lightning. I'm going to choose SD 1.5. Once you have all the filters selected, it will reload the page. You can click on any blank area to 
close the filters and then just select the model. Once the page open, you will see at the top that we have different version of that model. Usually the latest version will be selected for you. And then on this area, there's a download button. When you click on it, it will give you the different options to download the file. In this particular case, there's only one option and it's telling us that it's the prune model FP16 and then the size of the file. Click on this, it will start the download. Now in some cases, if the model was trained on not safe for work images, it may ask you to sign in. Click on the sign in button at the top and then enter an email address. It will send you a code. Then you can log into the site to download the file. Now, once you've downloaded the file, it will look something like this. It may also show as a white icon or a missing icon, depending on your operating system. Just look for the save tenses file. So if I arrange my files to show in detail, view you can see that the file type is safe tenses and it also shows under types here right click on the file and select cut you can also press ctrl x to cut then go into your comfy ui folder where you have these two files the bat file double click on comfy ui to enter that folder then look for in folder that says models go into it inside is where you are going to place your different checkpoints. Now, the different type of checkpoint, they each have their own specific folders. The one that we are interested in, just to get started, is the checkpoints folder. Go into it and then paste the file here. You can click on the paste button here or you can right click and select paste here. Once you have the file in this folder, you can go back to the web browser and then Click on refresh. You will see that it will automatically detect your model file and it will show there. If you've copied multiple files, you can click on, on the file name directly. And this will give you a drop down list where you can select the individual models. Give it a test by clicking on the Q prompt button and you will see a green outline telling you that it's loading the checkpoint. Then it will go into the positive prompt negative prompt, latent image, and then case sampler. And if you see a green progress bar there, then it means that Comfy UI is running and generating an image. You can also check the progress by going into your terminal and you will see the progress there. Once it's completed, it will show the image in your save image node. Now, next, I will show you how to install Comfy UI Manager. So as you can see, right now we do not have the manager. Once again, go into your browser, search for Comfy UI Manager and look for this link. I will also have all the links in the description below. You can click directly on those links. Now, once in the GitHub repository, there will be a green code button there. Click on it and then you will get a copy button. Click on this copy button. Now go back to your terminal, close the existing Comfy UI terminal. Then go into your file explorer. At this point, if you have the file explorer open, you are probably in the checkpoints folder. Click on back once and then look for a folder that says custom nodes. Go into it at the top where you have your address or the path. Click on the address bar and then type in CMD. Press enter. This will open a terminal. Type in git clone and then control V to paste, you may have to do control shift V to paste, or you can also type in the URL, the GitHub repository URL, press enter. If you see an output like this, it means that you are able to clone the Comfy UI manager. But if it tells you that Git is not a valid command or a similar type of error, then go to your web browser, type in Git download, choose the first one, it should be git-scm.com. It will take you to Git official page and then select your operating system. In my case, I'm going to select Windows and then you will get a click here to download button. Again, for me, it's asking me to save the file. I'm going to click on save. In your case, it may automatically start the download. Go back to your downloads folder and you should see git version number.exe. 
Double click on it. It may ask you to give administrators right. Just accept, click on yes, and you will get the installer. Click on yes, where you have your components. Leave everything default and click on next. Click on next for a start menu folder. Default editor, you can modify this if you want to. You can go into this drop down and select notepad or notepad plus plus, whichever one you have. Click on next. Leave it as default. Click on next. Again, click on next, next, next once again, next again, again, next, 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 until you see this install button. Click on install and it will install Git for you. Go back to the custom nodes folder, type in CMD and type the Git clone command once again and press enter. This time you should be able to clone Comfy UI Manager. Once you have Comfy UI Manager, you can close out of this terminal and click on back until you go into Comfy UI root folder where you have your run NVIDIA underscore GPU. Double click on it to start Comfy UI and the output this time should be slightly different. It will tell you that there is a custom node, Comfy UI Manager, and it will install the dependencies required for Comfy UI Manager. Give it some time, let the installation complete, and it will automatically start Comfy UI. This time, you will see that we have Manager button present there. You can click on it to get the Comfy UI Manager menu. You can use it to update Comfy UI to get the latest version. You can install custom nodes or any other models that you require. Now, for those of you who are on Mac or are having difficulty running Comfy UI with this method, you can go to your browser and type in Pinocchio. The first link will be Pinocchio.computer or just look for the link that says Pinocchio.computer. Click on it. and will take you to the official website where it says install, run, control, AI apps on your computer with one click. You will get a download button. Click on the download button to download the application. Now in here, it will ask you to select your operating system. In my case, I'm going to select Windows, but if you're on a different operating system, click on the link and the download process will be the same. You will get a page with a download button for your operating system. And then below you will see different steps steps to in this case to unzip and then to install it so i'm going to download the file once it's downloaded i will go back to my downloads folder select the file and then click on extract all do the same process click on extract wait for it to complete once it's completed you will get another folder pinocchio go into that folder and there will be a file pinocchio set up there Double click on it. Again, it may ask you for administrators, right? Give it the access. And in this case, we get this Windows protected your PC. And if I click on this more info, it will tell me that the publisher is a known publisher. This is a community made application, and that is why it's not registered. You can safely click on run anyway, and this will install a Pinocchio. Just wait for it to complete. After a few minutes, even if you do not see anything happen, just leave it. And after a few minutes, you will see this window there. Next, click on this visit discover page and it will bring you to verify publishers where you have a search field. You can type in anything that you would like to. And as you can see, there are other applications that you can test Then just simply click on them and uh, install them for now. I'm going to search for Comfy UI. So just type in Comfy UI. And then one of the options is Comfy UI here. Click on it and you will get a download button. Click on download. It will basically analyze your computer telling you what are the things which you require in order to run that application. So in, in this case, telling me that installation required. And these are all the dependencies or other application I need to install in order to run Comfy UI through Pinocchio. So just click on install here and leave it. You may go out, probably going to take 10, 15 minutes to install everything. Once the installation has completed, 
click on this home button and will take you back to where you have your application. Now, in my case, I cancel the installation because I already installed Comfy UI using the direct download link. But if you got any errors or you had difficulty installing in that way, do it this way. And once you install Comfy UI using Pinocchio, it will show up here. You simply need to click on it to start Comfy UI. And finally, just test your Comfy UI installation. So go back into the run underscore NVIDIA underscore GPU, wait for Comfy UI to start, and then type in your text prompt, the model, select the model from here, and then click on the Q prompt here. If you've done everything correctly, you should see the green progress bar in the key sampler telling you that Comfy UI is generating an image and you will get your image as a save node there. All right, so I hope this video was helpful in helping some of you install Comfy UI. And in case you were having difficulty, check out Pinocchio to do the one-click installation. With that, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.